Imagine waking up one day and realizing the most dangerous fat in your body, the fat you can't see, can't pinch and don't even notice building up is finally shrinking. Not because you starved yourself, not because you did crazy cardio, but because you finally understood the one thing that controls this hidden fat. I'm talking about visceral fat, the fat wrapped around your liver, heart and organs, the fat that makes your belly hard, the fat that increases cortisol and grows faster in men over 40. But here's the part nobody tells you. The same mechanism that makes this fat stubborn can be turned against it. And once you flip those switches, your body stops storing and starts burning deep belly fat automatically. Let me give you a quick example. One of my clients, Jay Prakash, 40 IT manager, wasn't very fat, but his waist kept increasing and his report showed early fatty liver. He was walking, cutting carbs, doing everything he thought was right, but his belly wasn't moving. Once we shifted his training style, adjusted his meal timing and added a few hormone supporting habits, his belly dropped 3 inches in 12 weeks and his energy completely changed. Simple switches, big impact. Now visceral fat is not like the soft, jiggly fat under your skin. It has more stress hormone, cortisol receptors, special adrenaline receptors, enzymes that mess with your testosterone and estrogen. So if you have ever felt like, coach, I'm eating less, walking more, but this belly still won't go, it's not that your body hates you, it's that the visceral fat is wired differently. The good news, the same wiring also gives us loopholes. If we hit the right switches, your body wants to use this fat as fuel. So here's the plan I want you to try for the next 30 days. Train your heart the right way. Instead of endless slow walking, we are going to use smart intervals. Visceral fat is loaded with special receptors that respond to adrenaline. When you do slightly harder cardio, your body releases adrenaline and that adrenaline doesn't just burn fat randomly. It strongly targets deep belly fat, especially around the organs. Here is how you use this intelligently. We'll use a simple version of Norwegian 4 into 4 protocol. Warm up for 5 to 7 minutes, then 4 minute fast pace. You can still speak 3 to 4 words, but it's tough. Then 3 minutes easy pace and repeat this 4 times. You can do this on a treadmill with incline, on a stationary bike, fast uphill walking, even brisk outdoor walk if that's all you have. Do this three times a week. You are not killing yourself, you are just telling your body, we need serious fuel, take it from the belly first. Next, we work on insulin, your storage hormone. Every time you eat even healthy, clean food, insulin goes up. When insulin is high, your fat cells lock the door and say, no fat burning right now, we are in storage mode. Visceral fat is extra sensitive to insulin. So we want small periods in the day where insulin quietly comes down and your body is forced to use stored fat. Do we need extreme fasting? No. For most busy professionals, I like to start with finish dinner by 8.30 to 9.00 p.m. Delay your first solid meal to 11.00 a.m. or 12.00 p.m. Black coffee, green tea, lemon water without sugar and plain water are okay before that. That's roughly a 14 to 16 hour gap between dinner and your first meal. You don't need to be perfect every day. Start with three to four days a week. What happens in that gap? Insulin drops, your body activates enzyme that open fat cells. That's because visceral fat sits close to the liver. A lot of that fuel is pulled from around your organs. Think of it as giving your body a small daily window to clean up internal fat. Quick note, if you are diabetic, on medication or have medical issues, talk to your doctor before changing your meal timings. Next, we tackle something men almost never think about estrogen balance. Your belly fat doesn't just sit there. It actually creates estrogen using an enzyme called aromatase. More visceral fat, more aromatase, more estrogen leads to more belly fat. This is a vicious cycle. And then we don't need fancy supplements to start breaking this loop. We use cruciferous vegetables like broccoli, cauliflower or gobi, cabbage, brussels sprouts, kale if you like it. Your body converts compounds in these veggies into something called as DIM. DIM helps your liver handle handle estrogen in a healthier way and push out the excess. Simple rule, at least one cup of cruciferous veggies every alternate day, idly with your dinner. In Indian style, that could be gobi ki sabzi, cabbage, stir fry, mixed vegetable with broccoli and beans. You are not only eating for vitamins, you are quietly shifting your hormone environment 
away from fat storage mode. Now we deal with the big player, cortisol, your stress hormone. Visceral fat has more cortisol receptors and an enzyme that can actually reactivate cortisol inside the fat cell. So even if life isn't super stressful on the outside, your belly fat can behave like a mini cortisol factory. We want to lower this baseline stress signal. Two things help a lot. Number one, magnesium at night. And number two, simple breathing before sleep. Magnesium helps relax your nervous system and supports deeper sleep. I generally like around 300 to 400 mg of a good form like magnesium glycinate at night. Again, if you have kidney issues or you are on medication, check with your doctor first. Right after taking it, do five minutes of box breathing. Breathe in for four seconds, hold for four seconds, breathe out for four seconds, hold for four seconds and repeat this. Just a simple way to tell your brain and adrenal glands it's okay to switch off now. Less cortisol leads to less fuel for visceral fats, stress loop. Now, let's be honest. None of this will work if you're constantly hungry and keep over eating. Hunger is not just about willpower. It's about hormones in your gut and brain. We are going to use a very simple trick. Protein preload before your biggest meal. About 20 to 30 minutes before your largest meal, for most people that's lunch or dinner, have 25 to 30 grams of fast digesting protein. That can be one scoop of whey in water, 200 to 250 grams of curd or Greek yogurt, grilled paneer or egg whites if you eat eggs. What happens? Your gut releases hormones like GLP-1 and P1. Why, why? These slow down how fast food leaves your stomach, send a signal to your brain that you are full, naturally reduce how many calories you eat in that meal. You don't have to control yourself, your body does the controlling for you. Now I want to share something personal that has made a big difference for me. There are two things I have been using consistently. Number one, Sheila Jeet resin in warm water in the morning and number two, Ashwagandha KSM 66 600 mg at night before sleep. Sheila Jeet in the morning stirred into warm water, not boiling water water. For me, it has been like a gentle switch on for energy, drive, workout performance and ashwagandha at night has helped me with deeper sleep, feeling more recovered, less afternoon crash, better overall strength in the gym over a few weeks. I'm not saying this is a magic and supplements are never the main hero. But for me, stacked on the top of good training, protein and sleep, this combo has clearly improved my ability to train hard, my ability to handle stress and how fresh I feel during the day. If you decide to use them, follow dosages on a good quality product, avoid self-experimenting if you have medical issues and always remember they are supporting actors, not the main movie. So here is your 30 day plan. Three times per week, do the four into four style cardio session. Three to four days per week, keep a 14 to 16 hours gap between dinner and first meal. Every alternate day, Add one cup of cruciferous veggies with dinner. Every night, take magnesium. Do a five minutes box breathing. Before your biggest meal, have 25 to 30 gram of protein preload. Optionally, add Sheila Jeet in the morning and ashwagandha at the night if it suits you. Will this literally take you to 0% visceral fat in 30 days? Of course not. But can this start pushing your visceral fat down, improve your blood markers, reduce stress on your organs, and finally make that stubborn belly respond? For many men over 40, absolutely yes. Not because it's extreme but because for once you're working with your biology instead of fighting against it if you are a busy professional over 40 and you want someone to actually guide you through this your workouts your food your fasting window your lifestyle your accountability that's exactly what we do inside my 12 week lean body program we don't just shout calorie deficit we look at your work schedule stress sleep hormones and habits and build a plan you can follow for life if that's something you have been looking for click the link below watch the short video training and if if it resonates with you, you can apply to work with me and my team. Your visceral fat is not your destiny, it's just biology and biology can be changed.